my list person friends is your key to your plus points. Thank you guys for this cool bit about me video. It's so awesome for you guys to be here. Today's bit about me video is in reference to this week's mini series of all about Twitter. Basically, I'm giving you guys tips and tricks to help you out with your social media networks and your followers. So let's get right into it. So today's tip of the day video was in reference to um basically having and making an experience for your followers. The question they was explaining how to do that. The bit about me video is going to be explaining how I do that and how I'm continuously growing on my own Twitter network uh, to grow my audience and to improve my content. So, all right. So if you guys didn't see the first two videos, uh, I encourage you to take a look at them. But if you're, you know, juice not to, I'll give you a little bit of a recap is basically having experience uh, or creating one for yourself is like having a restaurant. OK, you want people to come back and you want people to to re-eat at your location. Right. Will create an experience that's so memorable, or it creates some sort of emotional connection with them that they will come back and they will view your posts and your links and reshare them and all this different stuff. That's what's going to make the difference, okay? Because you're not you're not just selling food, okay? You're selling food that's going to make somebody, you know, cry with tears because it's so beautiful, or just have this oh my god moment because it tastes so good. You know that the, you know that's that's what you need to think about. And the, just so you guys are well aware, so you don't get confused, the uh, restaurant analogy is just something I've been using for the last uh, couple of videos. But um, but I promise that's the last time I'm going to use it because um, I'm going to get a little bit more just into particularly my stuff and Twitter so you guys are better understanding. Um, but okay, so what I do for my own networks. Okay, so I do art. My belief is perseverance, you know, is your key to the impossible. That's my kind of thing. And um, what I do is I, the networks that I try to create, okay, I'm creating my, I have my art out there. That's, you know, what I love to do. You know, I have my story out there. That's what I love to tell people, you know, and I, I show people that, you know, I can do the impossible, that I can be an artist despite my blindness and that I can do incredible things and all sorts of this different stuff. And what I try to do, okay, because I have my links, right? You know, my links are my appetizers. You know, my links to my YouTube videos and all this different stuff, they are appetizers. You can choose to get them. You can choose to not. It's okay. But they're out there for you guys to click on, okay? And then I have my main courses. You know, I have my art. I have, you know, videos actually on the social media network. I have, like, you know, big time content that I continuously promote. And those are my main courses. I want you to eat those. I want you to feel like, oh, my God, this is going to be such a cool thing. I have to look at it and I have to view it and all this great stuff. And then at the, and then afterwards, you know, after I've shown you my stuff and told you about my story and you've seen all my links and everything like that, I create the, the idea of desserts where basically I am taking, (laughs) I'm taking my, my, uh, own personal, you know, uh, well, preferences, passions, whatever, you know, basically whatever I'm interested in, you know, besides what I've already told you about my story and my art, and I transfer it to something new, like, hey, this YouTuber is awesome because of his videos are, you know, inspirational or awesome or whatever, you know, I like and share other people's art because it looks cool or it's something I never thought of, all this different stuff, you know, I, those are my appetizers because I'm, I'm gradually giving you the, you know, the, the idea that you can do anything. You can be, you can be anything and everything you want to do. You can challenge yourself and go through any challenges that you've got. See, if you're leaving for my networks, okay. And you're feeling like, oh my God, I can do anything or like, oh my gosh, you know, that was so inspiring or so awesome or the art was so cool or whatever it is. Then I've done my job. Okay. I want you leaving my networks feeling very positive and very awesome and feeling very good, you know, and it's okay. You know, if you feel emotional, like I know some people with some of my posts, because some of them are very deep and some of them are very raw because of my story, some cry and some get very emotional and that's totally okay. But please, you know, if you must cry, you know, just understand that I'm going through my, I'm going through my challenges and I'm busting through them and and I'm continuing on. Okay. Just, just remember that. Okay. You know, it's okay to be emotional. Just, just understand, you know, it's, it's okay. But I'm trying to create that experience by showing people what I can do and what I am doing. And then what I love to do afterwards so that you get this idea of like who I am, what I love to do. And you know, that I, I really do believe that people can do anything and that people can go to places and be awesome. And that's what I want people to feel like when they leave my networks. And that's what you guys need to think about too, is like, what do you want 
people to think when they leave your networks or restaurant? You know, like what what do you want them to think? Do you want them to be passionate? Do you want them to be powerful? Do you want them do you want them to feel emotional? Do you want them to even come back and re eat at your restaurant, so to speak? I mean, these are things you've got to think about because this is what's going to make a difference. Because when you're just putting out average stuff, like average content, you know, like because like if you're an artist and you put out artwork, you're battling thousands of the artists. Okay, you need an experience to go with your art. You need a story. You need something that draws people to come back and be, you know, and draws people to come and re-eat. Because otherwise, if you just if you're just serving food, okay, how many other places sell food? Okay, you got to sell me something more than just food. You got to sell me experience. You got to sell me an emotion or something. You know, some reason to come back. So. Um, that's basically how I do it. That's basically how I think about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the bit about me video. If I helped you in any form, like, favorite, and share the video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Some more you can't come out. I don't want you to miss it. Otherwise, my other person friends, it's your key possible. I will see you guys later in with tomorrow's uploads at 10 a.m. for all the great art content that's going to be coming out. So I will see you guys in tomorrow's uploads.